so much of this is just working through my own problems and my own internalized misogyny. It's the result of a lot of years spent thinking about and writing about my relationships with men, romantic and not romantic. Awards for Good Boys is a project that I started on Instagram and the premise is extremely literal. I give awards to good boys. Some of these are ribbons, some of them are laurel leaves, some are trophies. It's basically just a reflection on how everyone besides cis men is held to such an impossibly high standard. Meanwhile, men in media, and I think more importantly in our private lives, are celebrated for doing things that should just be absolute baseline human decency. For a while it was just me experimenting and drawing awards, and it was just mostly my friends and family watching. So with this newfound visibility, it's been awesome. I've had access to so many opportunities that I would never have without this kind of visibility on the internet. But one of the challenges is that it's really hard to know when people are engaging critically versus just trolling. And that's something that I think I've definitely lost with the jump in followers. When it was smaller, I, it was really, you know, not easy, but it was possible to have critical conversations about the work. And now my, my reflex is to think that everyone is trolling. But it has to be my reflex because most of the people are. So I, I quote unquote brand the stuff that I can, partly for selfish reasons because it's cathartic for me to be able to take what people are saying to try to bring me down and make it something shareable. Also, it's really important to me to show people that this exists. I don't post the more serious stuff because, to be frank, a lot of the stuff that I receive can't be branded. Can't brand death threats, can't brand rape threats, anti-Semitic threats. I can't make that fun, and I don't. It has to be part of the page. I make work about giving men awards for meeting really low bars. If I wasn't talking about how many men are upset at this work, it would be such a miss. I have a book coming out next June, which is wild and really exciting. It is very much the page. There is so much of the art and the premise and the core of it, but it's also more than that and it moves beyond it and it talks about more serious things. It's still very funny um, and it's still light and I think it does what I try to do on the Instagram page, but just in a more full way, which is to take really complicated concepts and to break them down and it gets real and it, and it implicates everyone and it might be a little bit uncomfortable, but ultimately it's funny and it's relatable and there's more space to just kind of put it all out there.